Hello and welcome to the Monday Monologue, where we take a look at news and current events and make fun of them. In this episode, we'll look at the perils of ice fishing, the worst movie of 2023, how to literally freeze your butt off, a cruise ship that'll make your bank account sink like the Titanic, and an interview with the one and only Taylor Swift. This episode of the Monday Monologue is brought to you by new Dr. Pepper with Insulin. When you're thirsty, reach for an ice-cold bottle of Dr. Pepper with Insulin while you still have your fingers. All right, let's get started. First up, the Razzie nominations came out this week. If you're not familiar with the Razzie, it's basically a reverse Oscar, which is awarded to the worst movies of the year. Expendables 4 led all films with a record seven nominations, including Worst Picture. Just for fun, we thought it'd be cool to go back and look at some of the actual reviews when Expendables 4 was released. So let's take a look. All right, Roger Ebert said, this movie was so bad, I didn't walk out of the theater, I jumped off of it. Oh wow, that's harsh. Rolling Stones Magazine, their review, the only picture Sylvester Stallone belongs in is next to his obituary. Okay, sounds like they didn't like it. Movies.com says, I'd rather watch a three hour biopic of my grandparents consummating their marriage. At least then the story would have rising action and a climax. There you go. Reviews of Expendables 4, coming soon to a Walmart $5 movie bin near you. All right, what's next? 19 men were stranded on Lake Erie while ice fishing. I don't know why you would fish for ice instead of just making your own, but you know, whatever. Uh, the men became stranded when the ice they were on broke off and started to drift towards Canada. Most of the fishermen were saved, but a couple had to be let go to the, due to the lake's strict catch and release policy. So here's a, here's a bizarre story. This is interesting. Three men were found deceased in their friend's backyard. Uh, apparently, they were all watching the Chiefs playoff game together. At some point, they went outside to sit on the back porch and froze to death. Man, men will do absolutely anything to get away from cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> so they're not sure, investigators are not sure why they went outside, but their friends think, well, maybe it's because they're just trying to get away from more of those Taylor Swift video shots during the game. <laughs> and now, speaking of Taylor Swift, for the first time ever, on the Monday Monologue, a live interview with Tay Tay herself. Thanks for agreeing to do the interview. I know you're busy. This will be the highlight of my life. Awesome. Some sarcasm. You're going to fit right in here. Um, have you seen my show before? Are you familiar with the Monday Monologue? I don't really watch it, honestly. Um, what special talents do you have? Is there something that you can do besides singing and dancing? What other talents might you have? Yeah, I'm way really aware that this is not a talent, but this is like the only thing that I can do. Did you just cut one? Yeah, that's what that was. That's the sound of it. Seriously? That's not a good example. Of oh, okay. Um, do you have a better one? Oh, wow, that was a bomb. I imagine your gas smells like angel tears. Is that correct? That, that is the most unique compliment I've ever well, gotten. Richard. Well, the world wants to know, what does a Taylor Swift fart smell like? is actually weird. Hmm. Interesting answer. Can you be a little bit more specific? It smells like Christmas to me and it makes everything perfect. Are they light and fluffy like pancakes? They're really heavy. Do you fart a lot? Sometimes um, I take it too far. Okay. Um, and here's another. This one, this was sexed into the show a little while ago. If you rip a fart in front of your friends, what do they say, and do you at least have the courtesy to give them like a heads up? They had fair warning. So, oh, so you give them, you give them a warning. So what? You just yell like, "Fire the hole!" Oh, like check it out. And everybody's like, "Thanks, girl." <laughs> oh, so your friends think it's funny, huh? Yeah, we actually like it. Okay, well, hey, have you ever ripped one during a show? I did. How do you know that? Oh, well, you know, someone in your family told me. My mom. Yes, she spilled the beans. <laughs> Pardon the pun. What's well, happening right now? Come on, don't be mad. I don't even be mad. I'm just impressed that you infiltrated my family. <laughs> what, was the, what was your reaction when you ripped one on stage during a show? I couldn't believe I did that. Yeah, I bet. You essentially crop dusted 10,000 eight-year-olds. That's got to be a record. Hey, you know what? Are we almost done here? Almost. We're almost done. Bear with us here, but thank you for your time. I heard you're working on a new line of scented candles that smell like your own farts. Is that true? It's actually really 
exciting. We have patented. We've patented it. We're, we're in the process. Will there be, is it just one scent? Are there going to be different scents? Yeah, I've had a bunch of di different variations. Cool. So people can just sit around and smell your gas. How, how much fun is that? Where would one purchase a Taylor Swift fart candle? Where, where would you get that? Walmart. Of course. It makes perfect sense. Why not? Okay. Well, hey, that's about all the time we have for the episode. I appreciate you being here, Taylor Swift. I think that it was so much fun for it me. It was so much fun for me. Wow. Taylor Swift on our show. That's incredible. For the full interview, there's a link in the description. You can hear everything else she had to say. You're not going to want to miss that. Uh, let's see. Moving on. An Indiana man, Matt Room, I hope that's pronounced right, R-E-U-M, Matt Room, lost control of his pickup truck, went off the road, and landed under a bridge. Because his truck was not visible from the freeway, he was stranded there in his vehicle for six days. Can you imagine being stranded for six days, stuck in Indiana? When asked how he found the strength to stay alive, Matt said it was the hardest thing he ever had to do. The second hardest thing he ever had to do? Watch Expendables 4. Uh, let's see. There is a bright side to the story, though. After sweeping the broken glass off the front seat of his mangled pickup truck and adding some curtains, he now rents it on Airbnb for $2,000 a night. That's a good feel. Making a little income. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, hey, you're going to like this one. Applebee's is offering a new meal plan. For $400, you can eat at Applebee's once a week for an entire year. And for $800 a year, you can work at Applebee's. <laughs> And that leads us into this next segment. This is called the Monday Monologue Six Pack. We're going to fire off six rapid fire jokes on the same topic. And tonight's subject Applebee sucks. Ready, set, go. And how would you like to pay? With my health. <laughs> Applebee's, where you can follow the last call with your last rights. Yeah. Farm to table, table to trash. Yeah. Applebee's, where your meal doesn't end up in a doggy bag, it starts there. <laughs> Just like mom used to make. When she was in prison. Yeah. What do you recommend? Leaving? Yeah. All right. And there you have it. That was the Monday Monologue Six Pack on why Applebee's blows. Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Sea, the largest cruise ship in the world, took its maiden voyage this week. The ship is longer than three football fields. Why is it measured in football fields? Because just about everybody on it's going to end up with cramps. <laughs> The behemoth ship can fit 8,000 guests comfortably, or 10,000 guests uncomfortably. <laughs> the icon of the sea includes a water park, an ice skating rink, and an infinity pool with more urine than the sheets on Air Force One. <laughs> Environmentalists are concerned about the carbon footprint of the ship. Even though the engine runs on liquefied natural gas, there's still some concern with what's referred to as methane slip. If you're not familiar with methane slip, it's what happens when you provide an all-you-can-eat Mexican buffet to this guy. <laughs> Royal Caribbean has announced they will also start naming other ships after icons. For example, their next cruise will be called the Elvis Presley. And this is where every voyage includes at least one passenger dying on a toilet seat. <laughs> According to a new study, members of Congress have passed used car salesmen as the least trustworthy profession in the U.S. Um, did we really need a study for that? So that poses the eternal question. If you wouldn't buy a used car from a politician, what would you buy from a politician? Um, is it list time? Yeah, I think it's list time. Here we go. In this week's list, things you would buy from a politician. And these are in no particular order, of course. Number one, drugs. Of course, you know they have them. They probably sell them. Number two, an airtight alibi. Hey, man, who comes up with better al alibis than our Congress? Number three, a fair advice. How to cheat and get away with it. Beautiful. I, I buy that. I believe that. Number four, a guide to money laundering. This is a good one. You want to set up an offshore account and hide your income? Politicians are the ones you want to want to talk to. Number five, a used burner phone. Hey, man, they have them. You can buy them. And number six, the shirt off your back. You can buy the shirt off a politician's back if the price is right. That was fun. Who doesn't love a good list? And now for sports. Dallas Mavericks star Luka Doncic set a team record last week by scoring 73 points in a single game. The most commonly asked question about Doncic, who's from Slovenia, is does he know English? Yes, he's very fluent in English, but he still struggles with some common American idioms like, hey, pass it to me, and get back on defense. 
73 is the fourth highest points in a game in NBA history, and it's also the number of times Warriors forward Draymond Green has been suspended. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you can read and you like to laugh, check out my new book, Sex, Lies, and High School Principles, now available on Amazon. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do it. If you don't, don't. Live your life well the out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.